Hey friends, a new town home just came on the market in a neighborhood we've been looking at and we kind of gave up on it. A lot of the town homes were really small inside, super narrow hallways, a different neighborhood than the one I already made a video about. But from the looks of it, it seems I can get in through the front door. There might, there might be one step or it might just be flush. I'm not sure. But we're gonna check it out. I'm super excited. That's happening right now. Perfect. How perfect is that? All right, for it. Watch your head. Watch yeah. the side there. Okay, go. Just go, go straight up. And that you said you fixed the. Door. Would you get one door to go handle it? But I'm just gonna shut your throat, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Nice. You're in, baby. Guys, I'm in. Oh I'm into a house for the first time. I'm in. <laughs> Ooh, how fancy. Really high ceilings up top. Is the master bedroom down here? Yeah, you gotta go down that hall. You gotta make a turn. Can I do it? It's No, it's just an extra closet. This is the pantry. Okay. Just be careful. All right, master bedroom door is really narrow. Go straight and then turn. Turn. You got it. I'm in. Yeah, so we're going to have to figure this. So far, so good, guys. <laughs> oh my god. We've been trying to find a house for like months now. This is the first one I'm able to go into that's actually for sale. That's not just a viewable model. This is a decent sized master bedroom. Bathroom might be a little bit small if you can see it. Straight ahead. I wouldn't be able to fit my wheelchair in there. Let's check out my future studio. Alright, so this looked a lot bigger in the photos, but everything looks bigger in photos, if you know what I mean. But this is decent for like a... This is decent for a guest room or my studio. It even comes with these books. I don't know what they have. Looks like a whole bunch of random crap I'd never read. Oh, more books over here. What the hell are they reading? They all look like duplicates. Oh, Harry Potter. Whoa! Jackpot at the bottom shelf, if you can see it. They have the full Harry Potter. Actually, they have Deathly Hollows. They have Chamber of Secrets. And they have Half Blood Prince. And I think Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, and they have all of them. Oh my god. No, they do have all of them, guys. I don't own any Harry Potter books. And, spoiler, I've never read a Harry Potter, but I love the movies. Don't hate me. Hey! Do, you, do, you, do we get all the books? Do we get all the books? I guess you could ask them. I like this little studio here. I don't like the word office. Office? The word office feels really clinical. Like, I either work at an office, I do business at an office. I like to call my space a studio. I'm creative in a studio. I get jiggy in a studio. Don't at me with that, jiggy. I don't know why I said that. Alright, let's test the acoustics. Does it emphasize in general my imagination? No, I didn't understand anything you said. Didn't know better, I just said, I'm already dead. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, acoustics. There's a really small toilet in here. It's like one foot. There's a sign in the toilet. Please do not use the toilet. The water is off. Thank you. I guess in case homeless people are trying to come in here and pee. Dude, that's like a bathroom you'd see on like an RV. It's really small. But this is a guest room. You can put a pull-out couch and 
for my brother and his wife in here. I really like how open this is. And I really like the walls, they're really cool. Can they fit through here? Oh my tight squeeze, trying it out by the fridge, nailed it. Nice artwork, fireplace. This is actually a really cool spot to watch games, gas fireplace. I've never had a fireplace. Well, in my old house where I grew up, we had a wood burning fireplace, but we never used it. But a gas fireplace, we use that a lot. Put the TV up there. I think this might be a winner. <laughs> I'll let you know. I couldn't get in through the front door. There was one little step. The ramp that my dad brought could have worked. But the door like faced the wall. It was a really weird angle. It was a better uh, entrance to the garage as you saw. But I'm super excited. I was able to get in. That's the first house. Like I said during our search so far. That I've able to to get inside like how crazy is that we've been looking for four or five months now and out of like dozens and dozens of townhomes and condos and houses like that's the first one that i can get a wheelchair into and it's also a 55 and up community like i said before that's where we've been looking it's not perfect obviously like there might be modifications we need to do inside for the bathroom but As long as I can, but as long as I can get in, that's like already half the battle of buying a home and you're disabled. Uh, I don't know, Mom, what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely the, the bathroom that you would be using needs to be modified and we have to figure out for putting up your lift system. But space-wise, I mean, you can move around and there was plenty of space for you to get away from us. <laughs> I need space to write and be open. And bring girls to no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> you want a private entrance for that? <laughs> there are some things that all of us have to take care of before we put an offer in. First one is that we were talking about with the realtor. Uh, this place has a homeowners association, and all the outdoor maintenance is taken care of. But for me, I need a home generator put on. At night, I'm on life support, I wear a BiPAP while I sleep, so I don't start breathing, so I can keep making videos for you beautiful people, um, but I need a generator, so if the power goes out, my all my machines stay on, and I can continue living, but that would have to be approved by the homeowners association, since it would be on the outside of the house. And then, yeah, just trying to figure out if we can put the lift system up from the master bedroom into the bathroom, and that's it, like, we don't even really need to, oh, a ramp off the back. Yeah, a ramp off the deck in the back, and then possibly... But it was ground level, so it's just like a small little ramp, because it was pretty much level to the grass. So yeah. yeah, just in case there's an emergency. Patio. Yeah, just in case there's an emergency, we have another exit. Yeah. But that's yeah, we'll let you guys know. Had a lot of character. We'll let you guys know, i keep you up to date. And be different, Blue Trail. I see you. <laughs>